Namaste. In this video, I am going to teach you how to calculate Reynolds number in SolidWorks. So click on the part, click on part, click OK. After that, select the front plane, click on sketch. Make the sketch as per your requirement. I am making a hollow pipe of diameter 40 mm, 80 mm. Okay. So make it a radius of 40 and increase the length as per your requirement. Let's say 300 mm. Now click OK. Select this line. Convert it to construction geometry. Go to features. Click on revolve ball space. Click on no. Increase the thickness as per your requirement. Click on sectional so that I can select correct boundary surfaces during flow simulation. Save this part as per your requirement. Now go to flow simulation. Click on wizard. Give the project name as per your requirement. Click next. Select the units system as per your requirement. I am using SI units, but if you are from America or England, you can use USA or IPS system. Click on next. The, uh, the flow type I am going to dealing with is internal fluid simulation, and I exclude cavities without flow conditions. Remember, I am not going to deal with any of these things. That is the reason I am not going to check it. And here you see reference axis. So reference axis is x axis. A question arises: How I know it is x axis? If you see my geometry, you will see that my flow is going to flow in this direction. And here you can see it is the x axis. That is the reason I select x axis as a reference axis. If I select wrong reference axis here, I will get wrong results. So click on next. Click on liquid. Select water as the flow simulation. Okay, so basically it means that I'm going to use water in my flow simulation. Click on next, click on next. Uh, you don't need to change any parameters. Here, if you see carefully that you will see that the temperature is 293.2 Kelvin. So basically means it is 20 degrees Celsius temperature. Remember, here common temperature is Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So I am assuming the uh, so I'm going to take the temperature basically 20 degrees Celsius or 293.2 Kelvin click finish now click on insert boundary conditions click here select this phase go to inlet velocity enter the velocity as per your requirement here I'm entering a velocity of 0.5 meter per second but you can change it as per your requirement right click here click on insert boundary conditions now this axis tells where the fluid is coming and this face will tell where the fluid is going remember you will see reference axis here as well so basically x axis is the reference axis because it is flowing in the x axis similarly if you watch previously carefully you will also see that the reference axis is x axis because it is flowing in x axis direction now move downwards click on pressure opening click on environment pressure make sure that the temperature conditions are also same that is 20 degrees Celsius. The reason is that I'm going to when I'm going to calculate the flow simulation, everything is considered every property I'm going to use it is uh, it will be on 20 degrees Celsius. Click OK. After that, go to goals. Click on surface goals. Select this face. Move downwards. Uh, find velocity. Click on velocity average. Click OK. Right click here, click on insert surface goals, select this face again, but this time you will select density, click OK. Now right click on goals, click on equation goal, enter the name Reynolds number. Now move downwards, select density row v d if you remember correctly that i give the internal radius is 40 mm so the diameter is uh, 80 mm but i have taken the si unit so 0 0.08 row v d divided by mu mu is kinematic vis uh, dynamic viscosity so i have taken the di uh, uh, dynamic viscosity from the google that is 0 0.08 
सो बेसिकली दिस वन इज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सॉरी पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट नाइन ओके सो दिस इज द डायनमिक विस्कोसिटी ऑफ वाटर एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस आई हैव टेकन दिस वैल्यू फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट सो इफ यू हैव एनी अदर फ्रूड फ्रूड यू कैन चेक द वैल्यू ऑन द इंटरनेट ओके नाउ आफ्टर दैट क्लिक ओके नाउ मूव डाउनवर्ड्स क्लिक ऑन रन क्लिक ऑन न्यू कैलकुलेशन क्लिक ऑन रन आफ्टर दैट वेट टिल द सिमुलेशन इज डन नाउ गो टू नाउ गो टू रिजल्ट वेन यू सिमुलेशन इज डन यू सिंपली नीड टू गो गोल प्लॉट क्लिक ऑन इंसर्ट क्लिक ऑन रिनोल्ड नंबर क्लिक ऑन शो एंड हेयर यू विल सी दैट यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ रिनोल्ड नंबर इज फोर फोर एट थ्री पॉइंट फोर टू फोर यू कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैंसल ऑल दीज थिंग्स नॉर्मली द डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस नाइन नाइनटी एट दैट एंड द वेलोसिटी इज वन मीटर पर सेकेंड हेयर डायमीटर इज पॉइंट जीरो एट एंड डिवाइडेड बाई द डायनेमिक विस्कोसिटी डेट वी हैव गिवन इज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई टू आई हैव फोर फोर एट फाइव पॉइंट आई एक्चुअली फॉर गेट मल्टीप्लाइंग समथिंग दैट इज द रीजन आई गॉट अ लिटल रॉन्ग आंसर लेट मी शो यू अगेन हाउ टू डू इट फर्स्ट एंटर द वैल्यू ऑफ डेंसिटी दैट इज नाइन नाइनटी एट रो आफ्टर दैट द वेलोसिटी इज पॉइंट फाइव रो वी नाउ Enter the value of diameter point zero eight, and last thing is uh, rho v d divided by mu that is dynamic viscosity, and so it is point zero zero eight nine. You see, it's a very approximate uh, approximate to this value. Uh, remember that the velocity of density the calculated by the solver is exact value, and here I calculate nine and eight is the approximate value. so you are getting the correct result of renault number here i hope you learn something new you can also use convection conduction or radiation or other numbers you can also calculate like nusselt number predator numbers and other things i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste